<clears throat> Hi, welcome back to Best Learning Groups. Uh, today we are going to talk about assumption method and how do we use the method to, to solve this problem. So uh, not every problem we can draw a model, but actually we can draw a model for every problem. It all depends on your creativity and on your competency level, right? When you draw the model. So I can actually draw a model for this problem using assumption model. Uh, but because sometimes it's a bit hard to, to draw, many students have difficulty trying to draw the model. So we have to we have to give them a different way of solving, which is using the assumption method without the model. All right. So how do we draw the how do we use the assumption method? Uh, so let's read the question and uh, and then we will see. So Mr. Swar bought 116 lollipops. Okay, let me just okay. So she bought 160 lollipops for her class of 40 pupils. She gave the girls five lollipops each and the boys two lollipops each. How many girls were there in the class? All right, now, uh, when you do assumption method, the, the first thing that we always do is to assume, right? You need to assume first. And uh, what do we assume? We assume that all are the opposite of what the question asks you. So you assume, okay, assume all are boys. Okay, that's what we always do to assume. Uh, why not assume all are girls? Because if you assume all are girls, then nothing wrong, just that you have one more step. You will need one more step to, to continue. So the danger is when you forget the one step, the last step, and that's when you don't get the full marks already. So we always assume we always assume all are boys so that we don't have to worry about the last step, which, which we may forget, right? So assume all are boys, so which means that there are 40 pupils and all the 40 pupils are boys. And every boy gets two lollipops, so you have 40 times two. So the total lollipops that uh, Mrs. Hua given has given is 80, which is the wrong total because the correct total is 160 lollipops. So this is the wrong total, right? Wrong total. So uh, what do we do next? Now, uh, in my lesson, I will, or in my workshop, I will, show, I will show you that there's a leaf, right? A leaf that you can draw, a HDB leaf. And uh, this HDB leaf is, uh, is very useful because uh, it helps to it helps to reduce the thinking process, right? It makes the whole thinking process more simple. Like on this leaf or at this, uh, inside this leaf, uh, what do we put on the leaf? The total, which is 116, and that is bigger than 80. So 80 is the wrong total. So you are always at the wrong level. So in this HDB flag, you are at the wrong level, which is level 80. So you need to go up to the correct level and the correct level will be 116. So how many floors must you climb up? Then you take 116 and you minus 80. So you have to climb up 36 floors. So which means that you have to plus 36, okay? To get to the correct level. Okay, so how do we get to the correct level? Because it's a leaf, right? You have to press button. So when you press a button, the leaf will go up. And when you go up, it means that you have more, okay? More levels, okay? More, you get more and more. So is it true that all the students are boys? which is not true, okay? Not true that all the students are boys. So there'll be some girls, right? Some girls. So we will need to replace a boy with a girl, right? Because we don't know how many girls. So we replace one, one at a time. We replace one boy with one girl at a time. So when you replace one boy with one girl at a time, then the question is this, uh, does this as have to give more lollipops or give lesser lollipops? Well, we don't really have to think much because the leaf is going up. Right, the leaf is going up. So which means that uh, you will be, Mrs. Hua will have to give more lollipops, right? She has to give more lollipops if you exchange a boy with a girl, right? So, so you have to plus, all right, plus because the leaf is going higher. If the leaf is coming down, then there'll be lesser, right? Okay, then the next question is how many more? All right, now in the Changi Airport, there's something called travelator. So you have a leaf and there's a travelator. So what is a travelator? A travelator helps you to move from one place to the other, right, to the other place. So on this travelator, uh, what do we put on it? Uh, one girl gets five lollipops and one boy gets two lollipops. It's like a number line. So you are again at the wrong level, wrong place, because when you assume you are at the wrong place. Am I correct? Yeah, you assume all are boys, so not true. So you have to replace the, replace the boy with a girl. So when you replace a boy with a girl, what happened? You have to move to the right. How many more? You have to move three more, okay, plus three, right? So you have to plus three to become five. So two plus three become five. 
So you go back to the leaf and what do you do? You just add three more. So every time you replace a boy with a girl, then you get three more lollipops. Okay, then the leaf goes higher by three levels. And if you continue to, right, if you continue to press a button, right, you continue to replace a, a boy with a girl, then what will happen? You get another three more. So the leaf, the leaf gets higher and higher. And then how many times must you replace the, the boys so that you get to the correct, you get to the correct level? So you take 36 and you divide by three, you have to replace child boys with child girls. So how many girls are there? So there must be 12 girls. And that's how you solve the problem using the assumption method, right? So you can see that uh, the method is not very hard to use, right? You have to understand how to use a method and how to apply, okay? And not to memorize, okay? We don't memorize the formula, right? Some students, they are taught a set of formula and they apply the formula to solve this problem. But the danger is not all problems are the same. You can have questions that are harder, right? And the assumption method is, is still the same, right? You can still apply this method, the leaf and the tabulator, to do any question that allows you to do assumption method. But we don't memorize a set of formula, right? Like uh, some students, they will tell me, uh, they were taught that they must times, right? They must take 40 times two. Then after that, they have to minus. And then after that, they divide. Now, when you do that, uh, it's like memorizing some things without understanding. So my advice is to really understand what you're doing, know the method, understand the method, and then apply the method on any question that allows you to do assumption. Yeah, and that's how you solve the problem easily, right? So we come to the end of this short lesson and uh, hopefully you understand. And, uh, and uh, in the next, okay, in my workshop, uh, there are actually more to learn about assumption. There, there are much, there's, there's more to learn. Uh, like how do you, how do you solve questions that are harder, right? Uh, so then what do we do? <laughs> then, uh, so I'll be teaching on how to, how to do assumption, how to use assumption to solve those harder problems. And what happened if, uh, if I forget how to do assumption? Uh, is there a backup? Yeah, there's a backup. You can actually do guess and check, uh, but guess and check is the last resort. So I will, I will show them another method, which is something like a table method. Three rows get the answer. So when you apply these three rows get the answer, it's actually faster than guess and check. So guess and check is a method, but it's a last resort that we use when we forget everything. When we really don't know what to do, then we will use guess and check, right? So we will cover all this in our workshop, right? So, uh, so stay tuned to the workshop, which I will update our, our post in my Facebook. Uh, and then once, you're, uh, once you, are, you, once you are keen, right? If you are keen to attend the workshop, then you just, no, just be there, right? Just attend the workshop. And I will show you how to, how to use assumption method for different kinds of problems. All right, so that's the end of the short lesson that we have. So I will see you in the next short lesson.